morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hopefully your morning has started off well. If you're sipping with your girl, put a one in the comment and let me know what you're sipping, what you're doing this morning, how has your morning start hopefully you started on the right foot and you have an amazing morning if you're sipping coffee tea eating your breakfast you might be eating lunch who knows but leave all that stuff down in the comments y'all the weather the weather the weather it's not cold but it is so foggy today so if you live in my area make sure you be careful so yes let's get this one going good morning i got a feeling my comments is going to be messed up again but i don't know y'all so let's get into it the sales the deals what's going on at bath and body works as y'all do know, all week they're doing a hair care sale, two for $18. It's going to be going on all week long, all week until Saturday. Also today, happy Wednesday, everybody. If I haven't said that already, happy Wednesday. So today they're doing a single wick sale. I originally said yesterday, and this is just because this has always happened. Normally the price is $5.95, but Bath and Body Works said nope. Nope. No, no, no. The sale today is $6.95. So it's gonna be a pass for me. Um, I feel like I already have all the candles that I need. I already have the candles that I need. Sorry. So I was really just looking for that um uh, what tropodelic or whatever it's called. I really wanted that candle, but I don't think it's going to be in the store. I'm not sure when it's supposed to be released. If you know, leave that down in the comments. I got a funny feeling it's going to probably be released in spring too. Because they just released the Clementine Calypso for this season. Season 1, Spring 1. So I can't see them doing that other one so soon. So I got a feeling it's going to probably be in spring too. So if your store have those, leave that down in the comments. Um, I did get one of my Bath & Body Works orders yesterday, but I'm still waiting on another one. The shipping is so delayed. One of my wallflowers did come broke. Well, it was leaking. I don't know why it was leaking, but it most definitely was leaking all over the box. My single wick candle, they always come jacked up because y'all know um, the glue at the bottom, it always comes loose. So it's all kind of messed up, but it is what it is. Um, that candle is the Palo Santo Vanilla. If you have not tried that, it is so, so good. And it is an online exclusive and it it's only coming in the single wick. So if you want to try that, you got to do an order. Because I don't believe it's in the store. I think it's online only. But that's an amazing scent. It did come out a couple of years ago. But for some reason, they didn't bring it back this year in a three wick. But it is a really, really good scent. Um, so I think I'm going to pass on the single wick sale. Because I know my area don't have it out. I did go to the new store. And it is so little. <laughs> the store is really little, but it's nice. Um, they wasn't doing any special sale. They forgot and left out a $15.95 sign. So a lot of people was thinking the candles was still $15.95. And she was going to honor it for me. But like I told you, I don't want to spend $15.95. So it was a pass for me on that. They didn't have any new products. They had just the, the basic products, the stuff that's already out. I feel like the store probably should have did like an exclusive sale for that store just to pull people in. Right. I know. That's how I feel. What happened to the $5.95? I don't know if that's an old comment, but that is something that I just seen. I don't know. I think because they eliminating the uh, mason jars. They feel like they could go up to $6.95. You have to remember that these new signature candles, I believe they are bigger. I think these are 8-ounce candles. So maybe that's the reason why they feel like they could do the $6.95. But it's going to be a pass for me because 
I don't want to pay six ninety five. <laughs> I want to pay $5.95, and even with that, I really don't want to pay that. I really want to use rewards for my single wick candle. I'm not a big fan of purchasing single wick candles. One, they don't really throw like I want them to throw. Yes, they're good for a bedroom. Yes, they're good for a bathroom or a little small area, but for me, I just want to use my rewards for them. So because they did lower the price, you can use your rewards because now they are $16.95. Now, um, the community has spoken. The community has spoken. It's just a little segment that I'm going to start doing in this live stream where we could kind of talk about things that I've seen online, even though I talk about them anyway. But uh, the community has spoken. The community is saying that the vault candles is in some stores. So check your stores. I don't know if it's in like the test areas, but the community has spoken. The community is saying that the Ruber float has hit the floor. Now, I don't know if they doing like a little preview thing or are they actually selling the candle? I don't know. But I did read that it is in some stores. So check your stores. I'm sorry, y'all. I cannot read the comments. The comments are so bunched together. It's like all of them is just on top of each other. And I cannot make the words out. Y'all know how the old school typewriters used to mess up and you keep on typing and it just type all over itself. For some reason, that's what that's what it's doing. And I don't know why it does that, but I don't know. So, yes, the community has spoken. If this is a collection that you're waiting for, I know I'm waiting for it, but I know my area never, ever, ever put anything out. And I know for sure they're not going to put those candles out because from my understanding, they got strict orders to not put those candles out early. I don't know why some stores is not in Missouri, not in my area. It might be the test area. It might be in your stores. Leave in the comments if it's your stores and you smell those candles. Leave that down in the comments. Um, maybe some stores just do what they want to do. You know, they just trying to pull in the sales. So, yeah. Also, y'all, what do you think about Wild Rose and Suede? Now, yesterday when I did go to the new store, I had that coupon for um, a free single, not a free single wig, no, for a free wildflower. So I did grab that one. And when I tell y'all, I love it. I really, really like wild rose and suede. The scent notes is pink tea rose, soft suede, and warm amber. Oh, it is so good to me. I love scents like this, and this might not be a scent for everyone. Leave in the comments your thoughts about the wild rose and suede. Leave your comments, y'all, because I need to know. I need to know what the community is saying about this scent. I love it, and it's very much giving me the pink rose plus leather. Yeah, I remember that candle that just came and went. I think it was a um, candle day release, I believe. I think that was a candle day release. I'm not 100% sure, but it came and went, and it never came back, and it was so good. It was so, so good. If you like like that, that new smell, like that new car smell or that leather smell, that's the family that this candle is in. It's you get that floral, you get that rose, but it's like a sharp rose. It it kind of put me in the mind of the rose that's in a uh, rose plus lychee, and in the um the pink petal tea cake rose. That rose scent it's kind of giving me that that sharp rose, not that super sweet rose, but more of a sharp. Plus that suede and that, oh, it is good. I, I like it. But it's not as strong as that pink, what was it? Pink rose and leather. It's not as strong as that one because that candle is very strong. It's not a powerhouse. It's just the scent. The scent is very heavy. Um, Like that leather is heavy. But this one is a little bit softer. It has that sharp um, rose scent on. Oh, it's good. I I like it. Now, I don't know if it's going to give me the same thing in the candle form because y'all know a lot of the products use kind of sort of changes, you know, so the wallflower might not smell like the candle 
or if it's body care, it might not smell like the body care, but y'all know it didn't come in body care. So I like it in the wallflower form. Most definitely is going to get backups and I'm just waiting and I cannot wait for a candle sale because for me in the wallflower, I feel like this scent is somewhat whore worthy in the wallflower um, form. So, I don't know. So, I, your girl is waiting for a wallflower sale because I'm most definitely going to grab more. These are the scents that I like. When you don't want a gourmand, when you don't want a, um, like a super floral, you just want something unique, something very different. Almost like how we, like those tobacco um, candles or scents. You know, that's like, you know, when you chilling, you're drinking your wine, you're trying to create a whole vibe, but you ain't trying to smell no bakery type of scent, no cakes or nothing like that. And you want something that's kind of mellow and unique and different. It's kind of sort of in the middle. That's what that is. And I, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm loving it. So I need more of this. And I should have did a Wallflower Wednesday. I guess this little segment is like a Wallflower Wednesday. But I'm loving it. And I'm going to need y'all leave in the comments and let me know what do y'all think. I know, I think I heard a couple of people said that the candle doesn't throw well. I don't know. Um, I don't... I don't think this candle is going to attract a lot of people just because of that suede scent. I think people love floral, people love gourmand, but when it comes to like these, I don't even know how to, what do you call it? Like a, I guess fabric, I don't know. <laughs> these type of scents, people usually don't like these scents. I do. I like them because it's something unique. It's something different in your collection. And these type of scents don't, don't come out too often. So when Bath & Body release something like this, something unique like this, I'm first in line. I need it. I need it. I love it. It's for those occasions when you don't know what to burn or you don't know what kind of scent you want. You know you don't want Florida. You know you don't want Gourmand. You know you don't want Fruity. You know, and you just kind of like, ah, that's what this scent is. That's what this scent is. I love it, love it, love it. And I am here for it. So I'm going to need a candle sale and I'm going to need a wallflower sale because I need more of it. And y'all know I did the wallflower hack. That's just given, you know, so... Yes, y'all. Leave in the comments. Let me know what do you think about this scent. Also, y'all do know the upcoming collections, the vault collections, supposed to be February 10th. Also, the strawberry, bourbon, and vanilla. That body care is supposed to be coming out. I'm not sure when, but it is coming. And from my understanding, it's a old... It's an old scent that's coming back. I have never tried it. If you've tried the strawberry bourbon and vanilla, the scent notes is bourbon vanilla, strawberry, apricot nectar, um, jasmine, and oak. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be the same notes on the newer one or are they going to change it a little bit. This is just me doing my research and this is what the person posts. So shout out to the people who always give us this information, this early information, lit pages, since galore, and even the people who who just give it and they don't want to be um, credited. They just give the information. So shout out to everybody who's given us this early information. We really do appreciate y'all and I understand sometimes we don't shout them out enough you know uh, but thank you thank you thank you for helping me help y'all yeah. <laughs> so yes also shout out to my mvp riders thank you for watching y'all thank you for holding me down thank you for coming in and tuning in for this quick 10 minute that's gonna always go over so i do appreciate y'all so yes that stuff's supposed to come the february 10th vault collection i cannot wait for this collection. I am so ex I love, love, love spring, summer collection. It just makes me so happy when I smell like fruit, even though y'all know, I don't really like wear a whole lot of bright colors. I'm sorry, y'all. If I know some people probably saying good morning and probably commenting. I truly appreciate y'all, but my comment area is is messed up. But um yes, this even though I don't wear a lot of color, color do make me happy. <laughs> even though I, I really love like blues and blacks and grays and things like that more neutral tones but I do like colorful stuff as well and 
when I smell like a fruity scent, it just automatically makes me happy. Automatic. When it's fruity, it's sweet, it just... I don't know, it just does something to me. It just put me in a good mood. When I see bright colors like yellows and like bright blues, the baby blues and things like that, the blue sky, it just automatically makes me happy. It just puts me in a whole different, you know, vibe or, or zone or mood. Um, so yeah, so I'm super excited for this spring collection. If y'all know of any new stuff that's coming out, please leave that down in the comments so we all could know, we all could talk about it. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I don't really have a whole lot today, y'all, because there's not a lot going on at Bath & Body Works. They're still doing the winter sale, aka semi-annual so they still doing that so if you haven't shopped or you just kind of want to see what's left over you can still go to the store um hopefully everybody is getting their um orders from bath and body works because i know shipping is just all messed up and hopefully your product come not broken um so yes y'all that's gonna really be it shout out to my mvp riders my riders my riders yes shout out to my mvp riders thank you thank you thank you for always holding your girl down thank you for always watching my videos thank you for helping me help them i truly truly appreciate it replay shout out to my replay gang thank you thank you thank you for watching the replay and i get it i get it i get it you can't be here in the moment because you might be at work you might be asleep who knows um so thank you for watching the replay but replay gang look down at your button look down at your button Look down at your button and make sure you are subscribed. Make sure your button says subscribe. I do see the emojis. <laughs> um, make sure your button says subscribe. So anytime I shout out my MVP riders, you know I'm talking about you, you, and you. So yes, do that. And also, yeah, emoji crew, emoji crew, emoji crew, emoji crew. So, yes, my girl said emoji crew. So, shout out to my emoji crew for holding that comment area down, for always posting those emojis. To be a part of the emoji crew, just drop those emojis in the comments. Because I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Sometimes you don't want to leave a long, big old comment. It doesn't matter. I love those big comments, but... Leave an emoji if you don't want to leave a long comment. Leave those emojis and also thumbs up the video. All of that stuff help me help them. That also lets YouTube know that we out here. We having fun. We lit. We giving information. We over here laughing and we over here giving big old hugs. So yes, y'all, help me help them. Thumbs up, comments, emojis. Hit the notification. Follow me on all of my social media. It really don't matter, but if you do please do um it helps more when you subscribe over here <laughs> you can follow me on those other platforms but it's not really a big deal because i'm there but i ain't there like that i'm not really in tune to social media like that because i be doing so much research and on crazy stuff <laughs> so mm, i stroll a little bit and then i'm done i stroll for maybe like five minutes and then I'm I'm back out of it. So yes, y'all, follow me on all of those social media platforms. But really follow me over here. Use the hashtag, share my video. Um, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. I cannot say that more than enough. So thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. That lets me know that my MVP riders really, really got me. Because I know sometimes y'all get in here and y'all, we all start talking. We all start um, hitting the ones and putting our drinks and talking about the deals and everything. But still, MVP riders, please, 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 thumbs up the, the, the video. Thumbs up the stream. That really, really do help. So I'm going to let y'all go because I'm going to head on home and eat. I am so hungry. So I'm going to head on out. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hopefully, there'll be a, hopefully tomorrow it'll be a candle sale. And I'm hoping and crossing my finger, it's a $12.95. The weekend is coming. 
So most of the time lately, they've been starting the candle sales or the big weekend sales on Thursdays. So I'm crossing my fingers that this weekend will be a candle sale. If it's not this weekend, then I'm probably, um, I ain't gonna say 100%, but I'm thinking it might be next week. So make sure y'all still saving y'all money because if you like me, I haven't shopped any candles. I do feel like I'm behind. I was so excited when I got that wallflower. So I'm really, really anxious. I'm really, really anxious. I will not break down and pay regular price. That most definitely ain't going to happen. But I am, I'm so anxious. I want to shop. I want to buy candles. I need the price to be right. Shameless plug for the game show. But I need the price to be right. I'm just saying. So <laughs> hopefully one will happen soon. So I'm going to get out of here. Subscribe. Shout out to the MVP writers. My writers. And y'all have an amazing day. And I'll see y'all in the next one. All right. Peace. <laughs>